There we go. I guess I just didn't have the drum lined up. This is the hardest part, is putting it back together always. And I'm not caring if it's back together because I just want to... There we go. Oh, I see. It's... Uh, it's uh, one of those clips. One of those beloved clips. It's hitting there. I think it'd be better with it off of there for us being able to put it back together. Okay, now I'm tempted to leave the screws out, but I think that would be a mistake. I think it would just fall apart next somebody would move it like me next time. And it would fall apart. So now I've got to get in there and find those screws that I want. They're the ones with the big heads on them. Oh, and I've already changed out the deal to a quarter inch. I don't remember which size it was now. Well, it was one of those two sizes. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. I put some of my stuff. I was separating my stuff in two different boxes. My tools that I didn't want to throw them on my things that I might break. But now I've got some stuff in this little screw box. I'm going to drop stuff down in there. I'm going to have to stay away from that. There we go. I see two big headed screws. One of them is going to be the right one for the... Yep. Hopefully there's not a whole bunch of... Well, I see another one of that size, I think. Since my deals aren't magnetic, I think it's going to be better to start them with the fingers. Probably would have been better not to use the glove. Oh, that's crooked. Let's see. Yeah, these gloves are going to make me drop something. And be it. Be aggravated. Let's see. Put this in my pocket so I don't lose it. Okay. Yeah, that's not. It's going really crooked, and it's stuck. The screw is just flat stuck. There we go. I don't know what's wrong there. It looks like it's fairly well. Try this one fairly well level, but it's not. Let's try that without the handle for now. If I can get one of them started, then I can wrangle the other one around. No, I don't know where I put the. There it is. Okay, I'll leave it loose so I can still move the other one. I don't know why it's not lining up. Let's see. Yeah, that one's got to be... Don't have my all with me. Uh, and I think it's misaligned enough that I can't get the screw started. I guess I better go get it before I fiddle around and drop that screw. Okay, let me go get the all. The scratch all. Can I reach it? Nope. Knock. The camera over again, remember? I almost pulled it on it too much. It's where I can't reach it. Where's those needle nose? Will they reach? Oh, that was so terrible. 
Yep. Just like that. By the skin of your teeth there. You know, there's no Phillips. I got my Phillips screwdriver because you always need a good Phillips screwdriver. And there ain't, all of them are uh, hex heads. Now, see, one of them's a Phillips. I'd forgotten that. All right, scratch all. Where are you? What do I do with you now? I stuck it in with my tools, I think. In my tool pocket that's too full. Oh, it's in my hand. It's really hard to find the one that's in your hand. So, if you don't know, that's a scratch all. But they're really good for uh, lining things up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's not going to... Oh, I think it is going to stay. I was going to say I'm probably going to have to put something down there to pry up on the whole door, but we'll see. Just put it right there for now. Where's that screw? Yeah, you can't leave it in there to get your screw started. That don't work. Uh, oops. This is handy. This is a Craftsman changeable bit set, but it doesn't, it's got a magnet in there and it's not, this is actually aluminum, this part here. And there's a magnet inside of there and it, it doesn't hold them very tight, so you always get blinded by the light. You always have them coming off on you. It is, I mean, it is a fairly strong magnet, I guess, but, well, it won't hold one of these screws. You can't just stick a screw in it and have it hold it. Uh, that I don't like. And you can't, like what I do is I, I magnetize my screwdrivers with car battery. You just uh, get some solid coil wire, house wiring type of stuff. I actually have some that's really, I guess, industrial wire. It's not Romex. It's uh, When I was young, I had a maintenance job and I worked on, you know, car washes, three-phase motors and stuff. And, uh... Uh, I would, you know, I, I, I remember I saved that wire from something way back then. So anyway, uh, well, it turns now. It's back in its place. Okay. Um, anyway, wrap it around and around and around and like, like one of these heating elements and then just tap just on your battery and uh, on your 12 volt battery or 6 volts I don't think would be enough. I really don't know if it's the voltage or the amps that does, but if you don't, uh, you might have to do it to, you know, sometimes the first time is it got it. Uh, and it's going to blow sparks and scare the frick out of you. So don't do it unless you, uh, and don't do it while the battery's charging or anything or the car's running. Because then you, when the battery's charging, it'll be exhausting some hydrogen and that could blow up, that could flash, flash in your face. You wouldn't like that. Catch your beard on fire or your pretty hairdo if you put that stuff in your hair to make it stand up on stand up or set still it would okay that stuff would burn that's very flammable i used to spike my hair when i was younger i wasn't young actually i was about 35 but i was younger put it where it should be an off position leave that where it is Leave those parts back there. Okay. I think I will shove it back some more until we actually work on it again. I'm gonna leave that heating element thing where I can get it get to it when I want to. But uh anyway. Um uh, Figure out where to go. Right there. You can see the reflection of the... See? Your old bathroom mirrors need not be thrown away. Just jammed that up there about 30 years ago. Been extremely handy. And the other one's over there. And, uh... Anyway. Uh... Yeah. Well, you know that... that <coughs> <coughs> it's kind of hard for me to <coughs> remember the details and follow those instructions, but it did help. I actually guess the test showed me that it was broke. I just wasn't expecting it, that the heating element was broke. And I wasn't expecting that. I was I was thinking more about the sensors. I just didn't think, 
I guess because I kept seeing all those pictures of it in good shape, but those were maybe 10, 15 years old, well, 10 years old, 5 to 10 years old. Uh, well, actually, I could look. I don't, I don't want to do it over there. I could probably tell, you know, from Google Photos. Well, it, it should have the original date. I don't know. But anyway, in my computer, I would see. No, uh, actually, I don't think I can see the original date because I always try to copy all my files, you know, either straight on the computer. But if I do it across the network, sometimes I always use SSH because you you can retain your by default you retain your file file dates at least with the apps I use. I I run Linux Fedora Linux or Debian depending on what machine I'm on. Uh, but I noticed the ones I uh, the ones that I was looking at the one uh, they were. Uh, they all had 2017 date. That was the time I, I had to. For some reason, I had to do it straight FTP with a comp, uh, application called FileZilla, and it won't do SSH. And or where I didn't know how to do it at the time or whatever, I can't remember. But anyway, uh, uh, they all, all the dates got changed. I hate that because that's a huge part of knowing when something happened. You know, when you take a video or a picture or something. You, you know, when you did that, instantly by the date, creation date of the file. Anyway, side tricks. Okay, so, not plugged in. Don't want it plugged in. It wouldn't do, I guess the motor would sit there and spin, but the I didn't put the belt back on it or anything. Um, there we go, that's what's wrong with this old thing. Heating elements. But, on the plus side, now we've got two. They're smaller, but we got two of them. Yeah, they're useless. I, they're not even really good toys. They're so easy to break. But that's funny. I was saying, well, I, I don't know if I want to try to stretch that and do all that stuff. And I said, I warned myself, what will probably happen is it will just break in another place and you've wasted all your time. <laughs> Mark my words, self. Mark your own words. Okay, so i got lots of tools to put away and stuff. So I guess I won't be... Uh, no, I won't be video waiting to put away. Nobody wants to see all that boring stuff. All right, there you go. Glad I figured it out. What's wrong with it? Uh, I guess we'll probably go ahead and fix it, especially since I already have the bearing for the back. Spent $75 on it, just sitting there. And the uh, felt, too, if I wanted to go that far. That's a pretty big job in itself, gluing that on there. I think you have to wait and let it dry. My, my brother did it last time. First time I did the bearing kit, the second time, I think I just got the bearings. And then the second time I got the whole kit because the felt was all wore out. Actually, I put the bearings on. And uh, he did the felt later. It set around. And then, uh, or maybe, maybe, I think the second time I got another kit, whole kit, and he did the whole thing, I think. And then this time, I'm the one doing it. And, uh, well, like I said, about a year ago, I rigged up my Southern Engineer bearing setup for the back. That's interesting, a really interesting thing. I never thought that that would wear all the way through that that U-joint cap. Uh, I mean, I know it could eventually, but I didn't think it would do it. Well, if I'd have kept it greased, because it just... It just didn't make no noise. It worked smooth and perfect when it was greased good. But, uh, you know, with the heat, you can't keep the grease in it. And I bet that grease they have, that occurred to me now, that grease that they use is probably more resistant to heat. Because that's right there by the heating element. And I didn't realize I actually had some left over from the last time I bought a bearing kit that I could have put in there. Well, I might have. I don't remember. I might have put some in there. But I know, do know that I started just getting some out of my grease gun and shoving in there because... Uh, the thick grease, uh, wheel, regular wheel bearing grease, uh, I didn't, I didn't think I was really going to be able to get it to, it, it come, go through that little spot and then it has to drop down on the ball. It's in there now. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, if, I, you know, spending 550 to 800, 750 on a whole new dryer, that the darn things you never know if they're going to break in three months or two years or something and then of course they have all the electronics in them that so much harder to fix when they break so much harder to figure out 
some brands don't have too much but the other thing is like I, we i fixed last time we the motor went out on the dry washer machine we went ahead and found i found one for 9900 dollars replaced it and working great ever since a couple year two years ago three years ago now uh, we almost bought a new washer, thinking about buying a washer dryer set at that time. But the reviews were so bad, even the Maytags aren't any good anymore. And uh, and the worst thing about the washing machines is they they don't hold no water anymore. And people were saying uh, uh, the ones that didn't, they didn't break, but they just destroyed people's clothes because. Uh, and I we I wash huge loads. I wait until everything's dirty. And wash as much as you can. Well, I try not to wash as much as you can get in there, but about that much space left. When you, you know, then when it gets wet, of course, it goes on down. But you can fill that thing up. That thing will fill up. You set it on high, a big load. It fills up to about that close to the top. I don't care if it's 25 or 55 gallons. I just want my clothes washed. You know, uh, we're paying for it. And water don't disappear, believe it or not. It it. It evaporates, it goes up to the sky, it rains down, and then it runs into the ground and into the lakes and everywhere else. And the dirt, the earth filters it, and then we find it again and we use it again. Water does not disappear. If you live somewhere where it don't rain or it's been dry, dig deeper. Or go pay somebody for their water from a river or something. I know it's horrible. But people act like water is a disappearing resource. And they get nuts over it, you know. I understand. In California, with it's been drying all the wildfires and everything, but, you know, trying to flush the toilet with not enough water to flush the pee down is just, it doesn't help. Yeah, you could, I know, the only thing you could be doing is saving, maybe saving, you save yourself some money on your water bill. And and if you want to look at where, where there's a problem, the problem is in our, in America, in our infrastructure, and I'm not keeping it up. They charge more and more prices for everything, but they don't keep things up. And they make crap. Everybody, you know, everybody goes on and on about how everything's crap and breaks. But uh, water's not disappearing, and it probably won't be disappearing. It don't evaporate out into outer space. It just goes to another place where it may be harder to find. Maybe deeper in the earth, or it may be contaminated. It needs to go into the earth to get filtered. Um, it gets ruined when you, for instance, uh, oh, I live in Texas, and I actually own some oil rights. My old little, not much, and I don't get any money out of it. But uh, I actually own oil rights on an acre and a half. And uh, well, they years ago they. Offered me a crappy deal and I didn't take it, and so I get nothing. It was for gas wells, but uh, they were fracking. About what was it five or ten years ago? They were fracking all over, over the place. Started having earthquakes, and and they ruined. I had I knew well. I made friends with a guy that lived out close to where I used to live. Way out, I used to live way out in the country. That piece of land there, and uh, they were fracking in that area, and, and they, I never knew that it took. You know, I don't know how many thousands of gallons of water every time they frack a hole. And uh, they used up all the water in the water table, and he lived off a well. He didn't have no water. Now that is, that should be stopped completely. But uh, anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about that. Why am I talking about that? I don't know. It's been on my mind a lot lately because... All the, all the appliances don't work well because they don't have washers and dryers. They, they don't work right. The shower head, you can't take a shower under it unless you take that stupid filter out of there. Can't get no pressure to wash the soap out of your hair. Uh, and it's not accomplishing what people want. Um, you just... You, you just need to make, uh, there's all kinds of better ways to, you know, to clean water and filter it that they don't use until they absolutely have to somewhere. And and the whole, free, how much percent, I don't know, number's good. How much percent of the world is uh, ocean? And, and desalinization is a very pretty old technology now. You just need to uh, stop charging an arm and a leg for it. And, and anybody close to the ocean have more water than they could ever use with the desalinization desalinization machine they call it the, the uh, boaters call it a water maker the sailors i like to watch those videos sometimes with the people on the sailboats and stuff 
All right, shut up. Making us a little repair video. Well, see, nobody ever watches my whole video, so I probably won't get any irate comments or anything. If Well, I'll upload this one. But <laughs> it'd be funny if the whole thing went crazy. Just trying to fix a dryer and I get to talking about something silly like that. All right. Um, all right. Here, I, I was thinking to go around there to hit the button, but that's what the remote's for. If this remote worked right, I'd use it for everything. I can zoom in and zoom out and all that, but I'm afraid it'll lock the camera up. I am very thankful. Sorry for the, pardon my French. Sorry for the foul language when I fell over. I couldn't believe it. I was just pissed that I did that. Pissed at myself that I just kept going just a little bit too far. I wasn't even looking this way. I was looking at my tool. Oh, I'm almost there. But the cable is just... Like I said, when I went back over there, I, I, I reached as far as I could and then used my needle nose to get that last one out. Keep your tools in your pocket if you can. All right. Bye-bye.